In this video, I'll show you how you can deploy your Rust contract to Solana blockchain. So this is one of the project which I'm working for my client. It's a real estate dApp and this is the entire contract I have written. So I'm going to deploy to the test network, but this is the exact thing you have to do if you're deploying on the main network. So this is the entire piece of contract. So what I will do first, I'm going to simply copy the entire contract and I'm going to use an online ID for deploying the contract. So simply open up your browser and we have a very popular online id for deploying the solana contract is solana playground so in ethereum smart contract development we have remix id which we use to deploy the contract in the same way we have a solana playground where you can pick different framework and you can simply deploy your contract so to come back to this particular id all you have to do is to simply type solana playground and hit enter and you will come back here here you will find all the framework which you want to use for building your contract so in this particular project which i have written a framework and that's the framework i'm going to pick to deploy my contract so this is the interface i will have so first thing for deploying the contract you have to create your project so you can simply come back here if i click here you will find that i have multiple project which i have created and i'm testing my contract so i'm going to create a new project so click on this plus icon and it's going to give you this three framework you can pick any one so if you have the raw contract in which you are not using any particular framework then you can simply go with this native rust but i'm using anchor which is really powerful and it helped me to communicate with the blockchain very easily when it's come to solana we have the show you can use that as well so i will give my name to my project so i'll say test you can call whatever you want that's a test one so I'll simply select the framework and I will click on this create and it's going to create the repository for me. Here you will find a couple of dummy contract which you can check from your end. Here you will find the script and here you will find the test script which you can simply test from your end. If you come back here, here you will find multiple options like running a build command. Once you will deploy the contract here, you're going to find the function which you have in the contract which you can simply interact. So I'll show you everything. So first thing we have to do is to get our contract. So I'll simply come back here and I'm going to select the entire contract. And I'm going to simply come back here and I'm going to replace the entire code and I'm going to paste my code. So this is my entire contract pasted right up here in my Solana playground. And this is the file I have. Now what I have to do is I have to simply connect my wallet. So you can see if I come back here, I have already connected my wallet with the phantom wallet and you can see this much font I have. So I'm connected. I have enough font to deploy the contract. So make sure you have to have at least five soul. Then you can able to deploy the contract. So that's the condition you have. Now you will notice one thing that here I don't have this ID, which is very important is going to be a unique identifier of your contract, like an address. So what I will do, I'll simply come back here. So my contract is up and running. You make sure to save it and there is no issue we have. Now we can simply come back here and here I can run the build command. When I will run the build command is going to generate an idle file, which I'm going to use. It's kind of ABI, which I'm going to use to interact with the contract on the Solana blockchain. So I'll simply click on this build and it's going to build the command, build the idle file. You can see the process got started. It will take few seconds. It's going to generate the project ID for you. And you can see we don't have any issue. Everything's working fine. And we have successfully built this particular command. Simply ignore this warning because I'm testing with multiple variables, but you can see everything is working good. So we have run the build command. Now I'm going to simply bring it down. Here we have the address of our program. And if you come back here, it will automatically set the program here, the ID project ID right up here in our contract. Everything is looking good. Now here you will find one thing. You can click here and here you will find your idle file. It's just the ABI of your contract, which you can simply use in your tab. So now what I'm going to do is to deploy my contract. So you can see I have to click on this deploy and it's going to initialize the deployment process. So just wait, it will take few seconds. So I have to give my credential. So here it's processing. I have to pay. So I click on this confirm and it's going to make the transaction. Just wait. The transaction is the process. Here you can see the progress bar is going on. Once the transaction will complete, we can able to simply have the address and we can simply interact with the contract in our project. So the deployment is happening just away. So the deployment is process and finally I have to simply confirm the transaction and we are paying this much fund for the deployment. Click on this confirm and the transaction is completed. You can simply click here and it will take you to the block explorer. There you can able to find your contract is successfully deployed. If you come back here, you can able to see all the stat like signature, result, timestamp, confirmation stats. And if you come all the way down, you can able to find the program ID. So this is your program ID, which you have to provide in your DAB. So you can able to interact with the contract. There you will find all the stack that all the addresses which got interacted, the fund and all that's all you can able to find here. So it's a very good platform where you can able to debug your transaction or you can simply stimulate your transaction before actually running your code on the main network and performing any kind of transaction. 
So that looks pretty good. Now you can simply come back here and here you will find the transaction got successfully. We got the deployment and here we're getting the option for updating our contract. So you can simply update your contract very easily. So we got it. Now if you want to get the idle file, you can simply click on this export and you will have the ABA of your contract and you can simply import. So that's how you can deploy your contract on the Solana blockchain. I hope you guys have understood. This is one of the projects which I'm currently working on. So I thought let's tell you how you can do that because many of you have this confusion that you have to download the entire Solana suite anchor framework there you need to do a lot of customization in your entire local system to make it compatible so you can use it in your terminal to deploy the contract. So that's a quite long process and I don't want to create any confusion. This is how you can simply write your code and deploy and after that you are comfortable then you can simply do all the experiment all the changes right in your system to deploy and build the entire Solana application. So I hope this things got clear that how you can deploy your contract to the Solana environment. And if I come back here, I can easily be able to find all the function which I have defined find in my smart contract. So we have the list property, buy property, sell property, get property, buyer, get property details. You can see the property and get property list. So we have tons of things which I can simply come here and I can be able to provide all of these details and I can easily be able to make the call. So I can simply click here and click on this reset. I can say fill and it's going to fill out all of these test data so I can able to make the transaction. Okay, so that's how you can simply deploy your contract and do the testing and perform all the transactions. So now I hope you guys have got an understanding that how you can simply deploy your contract and start building a small project. You don't need to come and build big project. You start building and deploy your contract. Get yourself familiar with this because it has a bunch of feature. If you come back here in the tutorial section, there you will find a bunch of pre project which can simply go through that. Look at the models they have included. Look at the project they have included. Look at the structure they have followed. So simply go through all of this. You will understand everything. Okay, so that's the only thing from my end. I hope it's clear your doubt. Now you know how you can deploy your contract to Solana blockchain. So with that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.